One guy who's not making a trip to the pit lane. He's pressing on pretty well. He's P2 at the moment. Let's dial in and have a chat to Beebs. James Golding, how are you going, mate? P2, but that you've got to catch that Ash Sutton. He is, he's not helping us here to get a win for Australian drivers or Kiwis. Yeah, mate, under a bit of pressure here, so I'll just try and hold <laughs> off this. Oh, no, he's up the inside here. Oh, is that the commentator's curse that's done you in there? Oh, we'll see. I don't want to let Dylan pass here. No, 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 block all you like. There you go. Use the bumper. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. Oh, oh boy. I, <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to do it like that, mate. I think it's time for us to get off this chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I know how the late great Mike Raymond felt with Dick Johnson with that wing broke at Bathurst. We'll get out of this. James Golding was second spot. Oh boy, there was more carnage in the background. Was that Tim Brook heading towards the fence? Let's have a look again here. Hernan got down the inside and got the job done. And this was on the run through the turn six sweeper. He blocked the line up the inside. Golding went back to the mid track, but that's where Dylan O'Keefe was. Oh. And then Hearn was really slow at the midpoint of the corner and chaos follows. Jay Hansen's involved. Uh, the wily Garth Tander just snuck to the right of everybody. Ooh, that and was Tim McReynolds, I think. It was. Three-wheeled McReynolds. Ooh. Plenty of damage. Ah, there's and Tim Brook He was in the wall. Hansen's fence as well. So plenty of carnage. 